Hi there, my name is Vic. I am a customer success manager here in the Dash team. And today I'll be showing you a high level overview of our platform, highlighting key features along the way to help you get started. So we'll start here in the top right in the menu tab. And I'll be clicking through a few of these to show you further in details, but uh, I'll briefly run through it now. So here you can see you can edit your profile, manipulate your system settings, your users, subscription costs, add in particular email templates, add in different currencies as well, and also check on your external integrations and your activity log. Now, I'll be clicking into system settings just to show you a few more details in here. So in system settings, this is where you'll be able to name your system to anything you'd like, set your default time zone, have a redirect URL, now this is key if there are any errors in your URL. You'd want your users to land on a page that is live and active. Tracking, this is where you can add in a new event or a custom event. So in addition to the event events that are here that are pre-populated in your system, you can add in whatever uh, tracking event you'd like. Fraud protection, this is a key feature I'd like to highlight. So as you can see here, this is um, our Overwatch fraud protection tool that is integrated into every Dash instance. The master toggle is currently in the on position. Below here, you'll see additional fraud strategies that you can add and implement based on your liking. This is also currently in the on position for app blacklisting, and here you can manipulate the activation ratio. Under customization, this is where you can personalize your instance a bit. You can have your own personalized logo for your Dash UI and also for your publisher UI. Publisher terms. Here you'll be able to add in your custom terms and conditions that your publishers will have to adhere by. And you'll keep this in on position to make sure that they follow those uh, terms and conditions that you have set forth. Categories, as you can see here, there's different categories that you can add into your instance and also flag it as adult if you'd like. Subscription, simply your credit card information. Now, I will be going back to the menu tab and going into external integrations. Sorry about the dashboard loading. So. This is an Afai's external integration we have in place. Uh, this is where you'll be able to pull your offers in, import your offers, as you can see here on the bottom right. And we'll have additional external integrations as well coming soon. The next important feature here is the activity log. Here you'll be able to see a date and timestamp of who's logged in and out of your system with their roles as well. Now, let's go back to the front dashboard page. This is the page you'll see when you first log in to your Dash instance. Now, as you can see here on the top, you have the basic information that you'll need to use on a daily basis. Clicks, conversions, revenue, and profit. Down below, it's in bar graph format, color-coded. Same information, clicks, conversions, revenues, and profits, also with dates along the bottom. If we go further down below, you'll see it broken up by the same metrics as shown above, but by different dimensions, which in this case, the first one is offers. It'll show your top 10 offers, their metric performance, followed by top 10 advertisers, top 10 publishers, and top 10 countries as well. From here, let's move on to the reports page. So here you'll have uh, the basic pre-populated reports and also custom reports that you can manipulate. Once you go into custom reports, you can manipulate them by time frame, uh, comparing different time start and end dates, time zones, currencies. And here you can manipulate the dimensions. So for example, in this case, the details below show the first dimension publishers and the common metrics. Now we can add in another dimension, advertisers. Another one, offers, take one out, take out advertisers, just publishers and offers are left with the same metrics and you can customize further here under customize columns and add in further metrics, however you'd like. Down below, it'll show to you in a graph format. Now, I'll show you another format of our reports under events report. 
Here, you'll see a timestamp, uh, basic information on the status, advertiser, publisher, and offer. If you click into it, you'll see the format that it's shown in. Now, under the tracking details, you'll see further information of click details, such as geolocation, destination URL, browser, and such, and also additional detail for events such as conversions. So now we'll get into the meat of our presentation, which is creating an advertiser, a publisher, and an offer. First, I'll go into the advertisers tab here. As you can see, if you want to create a new advertiser, just simply click top right, add advertiser. This will be the form you'll have to fill in with the mandatory information shown with asterisks, contact and billing information. Now, I'll just go back here to show you what an end product looks like. As you can see here, this is the overview of the advertiser details with the information you would have filled in on the previous page, tracking information, and also information on external integrations. Now we'll move on to publishers. Again, to add in a publisher, go here to the top right, add in the necessary information, contact, billing information, make sure to save it down here below. And I will just go here to a finished product to show you what it looks like. Here's the overview tab of the publisher details. This would be all the information you would have filled in on the previous page. We'll go into the tracking tab. Now this is a key feature I'd like to highlight. So for your postbacks, this is what the end product will look like for a quick view. I'll just show you under the edit tab what you'll have to do to make it look like that. So we'll add in your tracking set name. The base postback URL will be given by your publisher. We'll add that in. We'll see the parameters that we'll have to match our IDs with. Set the event type down below you'll add your parameters. Now it's added here, but essentially this area will look empty. You'll have to click on add parameter and match the IDs. They call it click ID, we call it publisher click reference ID. They call it pub ID, we call it publisher offer ID. Once you add those parameters in, you can see your example down here below. And then always make sure to save on the bottom right. Once that's saved, here you go again. This is the final view you'll have. Now, we'll go into your offers next. To add an offer, again, add an offer in your top right. Add in the necessary information as shown by the asterisk, offer name, offer display name. This is what will be displayed externally, so make sure to do it properly. Countries you want to add in, categories if you have any, destination URL, traffic type. I'll just briefly go through this. This will be an incentivized or non-incentivized traffic type if you want to add that in for your external users, incentivize them or to not incentivize them. Offer type, your offer, if it's set as exclusive, you'll have to select the publishers that are able to see them. Private, public, now this is shown to all uh, publishers. Private is not shown to any publishers. Restricted is shown to publishers. However, they'll have to apply for it with you. Caps and budgets, you can set that here based on event type. Sorry, uh, here I'll add in cap. Conversion type, so we'll add in conversion. Total 1,200, for example. Revenue and payout, again, the event type conversion. Revenue, now just to note here, it's always set at 70% in our system but you can manipulate this and set this to whatever you'd like. And add in currency as well. Most of the currencies are added here from the menu tab. Select creatives, any creatives you'd like to add to show as well. Practice to go over it. Now it's saved. As you can see here, this is the offer details, the preview, um, revenues and payout that we set, tracking links that we'll have to add in via our publisher that we saw before, test the image publisher. Add in the selected one. As you can see, it's added here. Uh, information as follows. Now, the tracking URL is what you will send to your publisher. And the status is active. Now, it's an active offer. Now, another key feature I'd like to go over briefly is your URL checker. So, 
We'll go back here to an offer. We'll go to Metal Heroes offer here. Click into URL checker, and you'll see here that this is what it should look like. This means your URL is working, your link is working, your end user will see a live Google Play Store link. If it's not working, the status will show so. And we'll just go back here to your dashboard page and round it out. Now, that's basically the brief overview that we'll go over today. Hope that was informative, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.